This topic, you know, I am very passionate about remarriage um, because I've been, you know, I'm, I'm remarried and I've been through a divorce after 15 years. And of course, a lot of you know my story. But there's the beautiful thing about second marriages is to, to be able to find that love again, right? To be able to find that spark. Like the first time you got married, you know, you're like, okay, it didn't work the last time. And you get these feelings and, and hopes of, you know, the future and just falling in love again. It's a beautiful thing. But on the other side of that, when it comes to second marriages, is the challenges, right? Because the first time you thinking that this is till death do us part, you took your vows and you thinking this thing is just gonna, we're gonna finish this thing out and then you go through a divorce and it's like, oh my God, you know? So you go through these roller coasters, uh, especially when, when people marry, divorce and then remarried. I have a heart for people who go through uh, a divorce and then find the love within to marry. But let's jump into this as far as the ugly truth about it. Let's be honest. I'm going to keep it a book. Here's two things that I want to address. And I talked about this in a previous video. Are you tired of dating the same person, just different faces? Are you tired of people wasting your time in this whole dating process? Do you desire to marry one day? I created this five-part video series entitled Dating Intentionally, Five Ways to Know They Are the One for You. You can get it now in the comments section below. You will see it is five, the number five, ways to know that podia Dot com. I created this five-part video series with you in mind. Now let's get back into today's podcast episode. The first one is you have to remember that you're ex-spouse is not your current spouse. This is very, very important. I always tell people, are you willing to give, before you get remarried, are you willing to give this person a clean slate? Shoot, any person you decide to date after you go through a divorce, are you willing to give them a clean slate? Can you really take the time to say, this person is not my ex? Um, I'm not going to put the old baggage that I brought from my marriage onto my my new spouse and these are some of the things that i talk about in therapy and, and even my own sessions um when i went through my divorce and, and remarried I was, I was talking about how i don't want to bring that baggage into my new marriage and granted when i remarried i remarried within six months but when in my first marriage we were separated our marriage was over before it was actually over Right. So I actually had time to work on myself during that process of separation um, and, and trying to build myself and trying to find myself again. And knowing that whoever I met going into the future, that this person, that they have their own struggles, they have their own set of issues. And that's something that I think most people struggle with going into a second marriage is thinking that all I have to do is remarry and I'm going to be good because she was the issue the first time around, or he was the issue the first time around. And when you realize that going, and that's why, and, and no shade to people who do this three or four times, they get married, you know, third time's a charm. You get married the third time, it's just like, I'm going to try this again, you know, and I get it. But I think a lot of times we make those decisions based on this person alone, meaning that this person is my problem. Look, everybody have problems. You know, everybody have issues. We all have some childhood traumas. We all have some things we're going through. The biggest takeaway from this is, are you willing to go the distance? And I talked about this because uh, my new house is being built from the ground up and there's been some delays in the house being built. And I use the analogy of, are you willing to wait it out, to wait until the house is done, if you will. And I'm throwing up my air quotes. You know, there might, there's a delay on wood. There's a delay on, on different things. So even when you're with someone, there might be some delay in their growth, right? Because they aren't the person that you want them to be today. Like you want them to be who you want them to be. And a lot of times when we're, when, when we're trying to change people, we just want to make our life easier. Let's be honest. We figure if you 
be who I want you to be, it's going to make my life easier because you're going to do everything that I tell you to do. You're going to be everything I expect you to be. So that way you could just kind of put your life on autopilot because you're like a little guy, right? Like you're controlling this person where you just got them all figured out and you don't have to do anything else. The, the tension in marriages comes when you realize that y'all are two totally different people. You're raised in two different households. And when you're under one roof, you're bringing, you know, 25, 30 years of, of your individuality and the way you, you were, the way you were raised into this house with this other person who's been living 35 something years without you. And y'all both get into this house. And then it's like, so who makes the rules? Does the woman make the rules because she's the woman? You know what I'm saying? So I think that's where the tension where you have to realize that everyone is their own individual and you have to be willing to go the distance with this person uh, over the long haul. If that's what you plan on doing and knowing that they're not going to be exactly where you want them to be all the time. Yes, there will be um, there will be valleys. Right. There will be downtimes. There will be uptimes. But are you willing to stay the distance with this person and knowing that? in season that if they never that if they never change i'm good that i can love them for who they are one thing i learned in going into my second marriage is not trying to change my wife in my first marriage i tried to change my wife and it didn't get me anywhere it got me a divorce <laughs> so going into this marriage i realized that she's her own individual that she's been on this planet for 33 years and she spent a, a long amount of life without me. And her experiences is her experiences. And I have to validate what she's been through because that's her experience, just like I have my experience. And letting her, you know, we say we love people, but we try to change them. That's the interesting thing. We say, oh, I love you. I love them. But I need you to change this, this and this. Well, do you really truly love them? I mean, think I think about how often I blow it, how often I mess up as a husband, as a father, as an individual, um, even my thoughts. Right. Just working on myself overall. And I'm like, God still loves me. And he knows my thoughts. He knows the things that I struggle with. He knows my weaknesses. And he still continues to bless me. Like who, who doesn't want that kind of love? So anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling. Um, the next one, the, the ugly truth about second marriages is the divorce rate is higher the second time around. And I've discussed this before, and I've done a video on it, that the divorce rate um, is 67% for second marriages. So the divorce rate is actually higher the second time around. And it might even be even higher, the 67%. That was some statistics that I took from psychology today maybe about two years ago, who knows, um, as fast as time change, it might be higher. I don't know, but it's higher because you didn't learn from the first time, right? You didn't get it the first time. Because again, like I said, you thought that your issue was the person, not your own issues. And once we take accountability for our own issues, then we can grow with someone over the long haul growing with one person is a beautiful thing because and i talked about this on twitter the other day that marriage is simply a mirror all it is is a reflection of somebody else holding up a mirror to you saying this is who you are and i joke around a lot and say if you don't really want to know who you are just stay single because a lot of times when you're single you don't like the way somebody is you could just drop them you're like all right i'm done with you i ain't talking to you no more but when you marry this person is constantly holding this mirror up to you, like this is something you need to fix. This is something you need to fix. And you're like, oh, shoot, I ain't know I was that jacked up. Right. And, and some people still won't even acknowledge that. They're like, nope, I'm perfect. The issue is you, which is sad. So then you end up getting a divorce. So the divorce rate is higher the second time around. That's why when you're going into a second marriage, you really have to be mindful and to arm yourself with the necessary things to make sure that this time around I'm not going to blow it I'm not going to try to do this again a third time and stuff like that continue to work on you and hopefully you find someone who has that emotional intelligence and that maturity that's willing to grow with you that vulnerability and have that empathy all those different kind of traits that that really helps when you're going into a marriage 
So hopefully um, that's the, the ugly truth about second marriage is that this video was able to help you. Make sure you leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts if you're listening to this via uh, podcast. I would love to hear from you. Rating and review. If you leave a rating and review, I'll be sure to shout you out on the show. And it'll also put you in a drawing for a free Amazon gift card. And if you are watching this via YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button and share this with a friend and leave a comment below. Have you been through a divorce and are you remarrying? Are you, do you want to remarry? Let me know. This is Sean Heineman at A Scary to Remarry, your premier pre-engagement coach, wanting you to love fearlessly. Take care, people.